Today on Advisor Book Club, I want to talk about one of my favorite people, Carl Richards, and his book, The Behavior Gap, Simple Ways to Stop Doing Dumb Things with Money. This book was just an incredible, simple read. It's, uh, you may know Carl Richards by the sketch guy. He builds and draws all those Sharpie sketches where he defines difficult financial topics with simple sketches. And this book is defining how behaviors drive our investment outcomes. And it's not necessarily investment decisions, it's actually behaviors. And I love behavioral psychology and this just hit home with me on how our mental state and our behaviors and our decisions psychologically actually are better determinants of our financial future than how we build an asset allocation or what stocks or bonds we hold. You know, he talks about in the book something funny about how we're so inclined to take advice from these talking heads on TV, but we would never take advice from someone that's on the street wearing a suit. But it's just because they're on TV that we feel that we should, they're talking to us and we should take their advice. But that's just silly. That's psychological silliness uh, in the way that we're making decisions. He also talks about how risk is what is left over after you think you've thought of everything, right? It's after everything that we think of the scenarios that could play out, risk is actually that thing that we didn't think of. And that's what risk really is when it comes to portfolios and how our behaviors, our mental state, and our psychological influences determine our decisions. And if we can rein those in and really just focus in on what makes us happy and control our own selves, right? Control what we can control from a behavioral standpoint, our investment outcomes are gonna be so much better. It's not easy. It's easy to think about, it's easy to read about, it's hard to implement, and Carl talks about it in this book, The Behavior Gap. It's a very easy read. It's something that I think that all advisors should read, and I actually think that all advisors should have their clients read it because it is so simple and intuitive, and it can make those conversations between advisor and client so much more effective uh, towards clients reaching their financial goals.